it's difficult to know how to analyze a game like that, Fiona. What do you take from it? Because really, from once, you know, really 14, 15 minutes onwards, it really was one-way traffic. Was this a vintage England performance? Is this about their normal standard? What will they say about it? Yeah, probably not vintage. Um, second half was absolutely immense from England. I just thought they came out almost like a different team. The impact of the bench from England was was so good. We saw Amber Reid getting involved. Mo Hunt and Natasha Hunt came on and sped up the game. So I think it just showed us what depth they have. They can bring these players on. They can change a game. But in saying that, 10 tries by this England team and they probably didn't even get into full uh, full gear, you know. So that's, that's worrying for uh, an Irish side going into that game. Yeah, I was just delighted to see um, Jess Breach there on the camera. I've played with her at Harlequins and uh, delighted to see her back from injury and scoring two tries there as well. Yeah, she burst on the scene and then had her injury troubles and now she's very much back. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> good first game oh, well, to be back, but certainly, you know, in terms of what Fee was saying, you saw in England in that last 20 minutes that is the England you would expect. Um, I thought it was really smart tactically to have a super strong bench when you've seen Natasha Hunt with her pace and the speed that she can get rid of that ball and accuracy. Mm. Um, Amber Reid putting a, one of the best 13s in the world, um, Emily Scarrett into space. Um, the likes of the powerhouses like Maud Muir and Sh um, Siobhan Brown as well, they were just, you know, you really saw them come alive in that last 20. Yeah. yeah. And so, you, you know, you've been out there and you've done it and you know how good England are. Does any part of you look at Wales and say, well, Yes, England are always going to win that game, but conceding 10 tries to one, that's not good enough. We have to do better than that. Yeah, you have to. You have to. If you're Wales are going to a World Cup, you have to believe that you can you can get to that top four or you can win these big games. So they're going to be disappointed. You know, we can look and say, oh, spirited, spirited mm. attempt by Wales, but not when you're in that dressing room. You're mad. We saw that last try. The players absolutely livid that she came through the that um she came, Sarah Hunter came through the middle of the rock. Yeah. You know, that's what you want. No 80 minutes on the clock to be that mad. And that's what spurred you on to, to be a better player and to not want those tries flown in. Yeah, and is that a fair reflection for you of the gap between England and Wales? That's a, that's a bet where these two teams are going into a World Cup. Oh yeah, the score is what it is, isn't it? You know, to let you know ten tries in. In fairness to Wales, I mean they scored a really good uh, second half try in a more, and um, you know that's that was one of their first green zone entries in that second half, which mind you was in the last quarter, I think it was.